All right, so Mark Harley just released another voice note that Brendan sent him last year when they're still on good terms, obviously. I believe this was in September when Brendan did the fight companion with Brian Cal and Eddie Bravo and Joe Rogan on his podcast. I guess afterwards, they all went out to dinner and Alex Jones showed up and Joe Rogan and Alex Jones got into a little argument. So after this went down, Brendan sent Mark a voice message describing the whole situation and we even have Brendan doing an Alex Jones impression on it. But I remember when this went down because Alex actually did talk about this a little bit when he's on Steven Crowder's show. He talked about going out to eat with Joe and he kept trying to bring up how he wants to get on his podcast. But this was during the whole Sandy Hook trial. So Joe just didn't want to deal with any of the drama that comes with that, I guess. We were out of dinner about a month ago, last time I hung out with him. And uh, it's his pet peeve not to bring it up. And I just said, man, it really helped me with this upcoming court case because the whole media is against me. If I could get on there and explain things. And he just said, Alex, you got, you know, there's too much too much craziness going on. Let's just get through this. We'll talk about it later. So I'm not really worried about it. Obviously, I'm the big interview he'd want. He even said, listen, you're like nuclear weapons. You know, I, uh, it's, it's, it's a big deal to have you on, I, I, but I, I'm not worried about it. It's really a question for Joe. On, on the current scale, Stephen Crowder's a 10, Alex Jones is a 10, and Joe Rogan's an 8. And I'll, I'll take an 8 all day over our enemies that are at a 0. Of, of course. Uh, and so I'm nothing but thankful to Joe for all the heat he's taken having me on. Right. And... Uh, and, and so I totally understand it. And you know what? I don't want to give out any inside baseball here, but I'm just going to leave it at this. I'll tell you off air if you want, but it's private. Um, the very same people trying to silence me. I, I, you know what? I, I'm not going to get into it on air, but there's been some real harassment of Joe and stuff uh, that's gone on. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know that's happened with him. And you These know, people are yeah, so it sounds like Alex kind of understands Joe not wanting to have him on, but still he only ranked him at eight on the courage scale and he gave Steven a 10. So Joe could be doing better there. But it sounds like Joe was really annoyed with Alex at that dinner and he got pretty heated. At least that's what Brennan says. He says, just had dinner with Alex Jones and Rogan. It got so heated. Alex kept asking to come on. Man, it was awkward. Joe lit him up bad. And then Brendan sent him a voice note talking about it, which I'll play here in a second. But this sounds like a wild scene right here. Alex Jones, Eddie Bravo, Brendan Schaub, and Joe Rogan all out to dinner. And it just sounds hilarious. Like in the middle of Alex and Joe yelling at each other and arguing, Eddie Bravo just chimes in and starts going off about some conspiracy theory with the government, of course. All right, so let's get into it here. This is the voice note that Brendan sent Mark describing the whole situation. We do the show, it goes great. You saw most of it, so it goes great. And then even though I didn't really plug anything, which is all good. But then uh, we all go to dinner, and Eddie invites Alex Jones. And so Alex Jones is sitting. Uh, it went ro So it went Rogan on one side, me on the opposite. So me and Rogan sit across each other. Then Callan's next to Rogan. And then next to Callan is uh, Alex Jones. And next to me is Eddie, right? So that's the setup. And so uh, Alex Jones gets there. And he's just eyeing Rogan the whole time. You can see he's just like, it was random he came. Like, and he's like, no, he's, he, Alex Jones coming. Rogan's like, for what? And he's like, oh, he just wants to see you. And so Rogan's like, all right, yeah, he's cool. He's like, it's random, but all right. So he gets in, he can just tell Alex Jones had an agenda. So as soon as he could, Alex is like, he's like, Joe, I, I think, you know, I'm all over the news right now. And it's never been hotter in the line. And I just need a platform to do it. I, I got to come on the show. You know, I think it'd be great. And uh, that's my Alex Jones impression. And Rogan's like, what? And he's like, you know, I, I just think you and I together, I need a platform and you need to let me come on the show. And Rogan's like, stop, not stop. You're not coming to my show. And Alex is like, I think it'd be good, you know, if, if I'm, I'm like a gorilla with rocks, bash them together. And you and, my, and Rogan's like, literally gets in his face. goes, what the f are you talking about? He goes, I, you can't come on my show, dude. He goes, you're talking about these kids that died and it's, you, you don't think about the consequence for me. I don't need heat. It's not happening. And Alex's like, I know. I think it'd be good. He's like, stop, stop. Quit can asking me. And then uh, Eddie started going off about some conspiracy on the, you know, the government. And uh, Alex takes his phone out to film all of us. And Rowan's like, what the f are you doing? He's like, we're at dinner, dude. Put your phone down. Don't blast this out, dude. Just Rogan was a savage on him. And Alex is like, all right, well, and then after he realized it wasn't happening, he's like, all right, well, uh, I'm, I'm going to get going. I appreciate you guys having me. And just yeah, so that sounds like a legendary dinner right there. It's too bad nobody recorded that or wasn't on the podcast or something. It sounds hilarious. Like Alex Jones and Joe Rogan going at it. Alex trying to beg to get on his podcast. And then it sounds like Eddie might have been trying to break it up by bringing up some government conspiracy theory, probably trying to say that the government is trying to pit them against each other or something. And it doesn't sound like Brennan making any of this up i know some people are skeptical but i mean alex jones pretty much admitted it and i could see joe getting pretty heated about that and alex said that's his pet peeve so 
it sounds like it all adds up here. So I wonder if Joe and Alex have resolved this at all, or if we'll see Alex on Joe's podcast again. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And then make sure you go check out my Patreon account. I have a bunch of videos up there. I'll probably be posting another one later this week. I'll put a link in the description. Then make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.